I'm taking off again. President's tense. Big white house. Big white fence. The industry fake. I can't get involved. These niggas capping. Haven't even seen the shit that I saw. This is exactly why I don't eat chips while doing reactions, right? Or in a the movie theater or somewhere quiet or somebody is watching me. This is exactly why. You see how annoying that is? And I know some of y'all have headphones in, so I know it's really annoying. Jesus. But that's why I don't do all that. Popcorn is where it's at. And or m &Ms. Let's see if I can, well, 12 mysteries, you'll get $10,000 for solving. Let's see if I can solve all 12 of these. Let's get it. Wait. Is it $10,000 for solving all 12 or $10,000 for each individual individual story? Because if it's like that, then that's 12 times 10. What's that? 120? I don't know. So, if so. you've ever wanted to solve a mystery for a reward, now is your chance. From local cases all the way to the CIA, solving any of these baffling mysteries will get you around a $100,000 reward or more. Number 12. A creepy duo stomps up the steps of a bank on Washington Street in Halliston, Massachusetts. Both draw from hidden pockets as they approach the teller. If you happen to live around the Boston area and know anyone who has ever worn the masks shown here, then you might be able to help the FBI solve this case, which- I know exactly who they are. It's obvious. That one in the white mask, right, is obviously Adam, and then the other one is obviously Toby. Case closed. What my $10,000 at? Or $100,000, whatever. In May of 2018 and has yet to be solved, a cash reward I just of $10, solved it. $10,000 will be given to anyone who can supply the FBI with solid leads. Where's my money? Number 11, I just saw. Brittany Drexel is on vacation at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. A CCTV video from 2009 shows her walking into a hotel and looking to the right. It's the last time anybody has ever seen her. Oh my god. I'm not sure how soon she disappeared after this video was recorded. But I'm wondering if she was possibly looking at somebody approaching her. We'll never know what happened in the moments after unless a witness steps forward. The FBI has declared that she was probably taken by someone. But they have no leads to this day. And they have never recovered her over 10 years later. Hopefully a $25,000 reward can change that. And Ashley Jones took her. Ashley Jones. I already said it. I solved it. You want to know why she did it? My water bottle just fell out of nowhere. That's weird. Um, Ashley Jones took her. You don't want to know what you want to know why? The one that got taken, taken, whatever, took. Ashley Jones Adidas There it is That's the reason Solid evidence mm -hmm. Again, where my $10,000 at? Some closure to her poor family Number 10 Customers are rummaging around this Austin, Texas pawn store When the doors fly open And a group of men rush through Faces covered <laughs> You know what's funny? I just thought about it. like a lot of these stories, I put myself in that scenario. Cause he said the door just flew open. Well, if the door just flew open, then I just flew right out of there. So it's, you know, it was like I know, it was like I was never even there. You know, as soon as those doors flew open, I would have flew my ass right outside out the door. The leader takes out a mini sledgehammer and pounds on the glass of a jewelry case as everyone scatters. They take around four thousand dollars worth of jewels, among other things. Completely unconcerned about doing this in the middle of the day with plenty of witnesses, and flee the scene. 
Judging by the speed and coordination of this event, I have little doubt that they are professionals and probably do this a few times every month. Here you can see them at a different pawn store, and this is where the FBI needs your help. The person in the white hat is known only as Roy on the streets. He strolls up to the counter and reaches for something in his waistband. I was sure that he was going to try to take more jewels, but instead he unfurls a pouch full of jewelry to pawn. The FBI is giving $4,000 to anyone who has more information about this incident. Or at least that was the total amount in 2012. They are probably more desperate to catch him by now. And okay, no, take it back a little bit. Take it back, all right. So you said the white, the, uh, the guy in the white hat is royal or something like that. Okay, that's cool. You got that first name, right? And then you got three other people, right? Obviously, um, you got what? You got James. You got what? What's another club name? You got Ashley. Wow, there's three guys. Never mind. <laughs> uh, you got you got yeah you, you got you got James. You got Mike. I feel like Mike is just, I don't know, just a club name. Um, and then you got, you got Craig. There it is. I just solved it! Again, what about $10,000? Oh, and the cash reward has probably gone up considerably all these years later. Number nine. FBI investigators are offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to this man being taken into police custody due to an incident in a bank lobby in Somerville, Massachusetts. It seems to me like when he first enters that he is full of adrenaline and ready to take out anyone in his way without any hesitation or regrets. He checks all of the nearby rooms and demands money from a teller. He also tried to take out a security guard, but fortunately misses. The authorities have been searching for this man ever since. Number eight, a hacker once created a Trojan worm that was so effective, it spread to all parts of the world, except for computers in Russia, which it was specifically programmed not to infect. The creator of this worm was only known by his screen name, Lucky12345. AKA, Toad. And then the one previous to this, this story, where the guy went to the bank, y'all know where he at? He's in Georgia, bro. Living a good life. Good life. Email me for uh, further evidence and further, I guess, information. But I'm in my $10,000 for that story and this story. With so many computers infected, Lucky could basically do anything he wanted. He cracked various bank accounts and also let the Russian government take a look at valuable information as well, presumably in exchange for immunity. After becoming rich, he disappeared from sight. The network of infected computers was growing larger every day, and it took them over 10 years to trace everything back to the creator. Oh my god! Bogoshev. This man is arguably one of the most successful hackers alive. He has taken over $100 million from World Banks. The FBI has placed a $3 million reward in exchange for any information that could lead to his whereabouts and subsequent capture. With such a large price on his head, this is probably one of the biggest, most valuable unsolved mysteries in the world. Number seven. I just gave you my information. As this man enters a grocery store and walks down a random aisle. There's nothing about his appearance to suggest that he may be crazy. Yes, it is. Nor is there any hint of the horror that he just caused. Moments before this video was taken, the FBI suspects that this unknown man threw an improvised device into a restaurant. The device went off and caused unspeakable panic to those eating inside. But fortunately, everyone got out of the way in time. Now he appears to walk around his store for a bit in an attempt to blend in with the public. He leaves without buying anything and then sags against the wall outside. Maybe he is feeling remorse here, or maybe he is exhausted. When he gets up, he throws away the clothes he was wearing earlier, which suggests that he was sane enough to know this was wrong. The FBI is giving $20,000 in reward money to anyone who can provide his identity. 
is only real identifying features is a club foy. Even though this was over two years ago, he has yet to be apprehended. No other known footage of him exists. Y'all wanna know who he is? Y'all wanna know who he is? Bitch, I'm about to tell you. That right there. All right. Michael. James. Yo. Did I just make that up? Eh. <laughs> what? Number six. This shadowy figure was seen prowling around the enclosure of a Palm Beach zoo Yo. shortly before a monkey named Kaylee was taken from her pen, Get never on. to be seen again. Damn. This large hole confirms that humans broke into the exhibit as opposed to the animal escaping on its own. I have no idea what this person intends to do with her, and that perhaps is most worrying of all. Whatever their plans are, I doubt anyone who would randomly do this is a responsible caretaker with an appropriate habitat set up for her. At 12 years of age, Kaylee is very old for her species and I would imagine very fragile. The zoo has offered an undisclosed cash reward for the return of their beloved animal and any information leading to the person responsible. Number 5. The CCTV video in Guadalajara, Mexico shows a man dressed in all blue pacing nervously outside of a shopping mall parking lot. Sus. A car pulls up to the checkpoint gate and the unknown suspect fires directly into their window and oh my God. on the road. The target was a U.S. diplomat. The FBI is now offering a $20,000 cash reward for any information about the person in this video who they believe is wearing an oversized black wig. Probably to hide his identity. Looking at his outfit, I can't help but wonder if this person was a medical worker, or perhaps even a psychiatric patient themselves. Number four. This faded family footage goes from heartwarming to horrifying. When you realize what this father has done to become a wanted man with a $100,000 reward on his Dang. head. According to the FBI, this man extinguished his entire family, wife included, and then created a gas leak in the home. He lit a candle and the house went up in an instant to cover his tracks. This was back in 2001 and no traces of him have been uncovered. He is still on the top 10 most wanted list, just in case. Number three. That's Craig. Man oh, God. Outfit is causing havoc at gas stations across three different counties in Virginia. As these surveillance pictures show, his method of choice is to brazenly walk in arms, and he's not bluffing with it either. One time, he marched into a raceway gas station in Chesterfield and went straight for the cashier. Somehow he missed, but that event bumped the case up to the FBI, who quickly put out a $10,000 cash reward on his head. So far, the unidentified suspect has been linked to incidents in Richmond, Chesterfield, Henrico, and quite possibly more. This happened in January and February of 2019. He is still out there somewhere. Maybe even hitting up gas stations in a different state with a new disguise. Yeah, I Contact right. the Richmond FBI division if you have any information for the $10,000 cash reward. I've included links in the description. Number two, a man is returning home from work with his uncle. When four men quietly approach his car, his back is turned and he doesn't notice their presence until they are... This is exactly what happens when you don't wear Adidas. Nothing. This is what happens when you, you wear anything that's not Adidas. Your senses are uh, or are uh, I get what I'm bad. Your senses are at a all time low. They basically don't work. Turned off like a switch. Switch. God, my condolences, brother. Jesus, that's gotta be hella scary. God.
What about your neighbors? Where were your neighbors at? Maybe your neighbors was like, Oh. oh, that looks a little sus, but I'm going to go ahead and stay out of that. Yo, that's crazy. That's really scary. Already on top of him and it's too late. The home surveillance video cuts off moments before his life is taken in his own driveway. God damn. Because of this man's oh. bravery, his uncle is able to get away and contact authorities. They have since placed a minimum of $5,000 reward money to whoever can provide more information leading to the men responsible for this senseless act. That's it? Before we get to know Only $5,000? My name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Not really. Go to my Instagram at Dylan is chillin' YT to find out. Do you like my narrations? If you answered yes, then tap the follow button and thank you for your support. It's a proof in fact that generosity makes you a happier person so if you're generous enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it then thank you you're welcome. my music video for who am i now has been uploaded right. but do not watch it please 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 don't also don't forget i upload a new video here on youtube every thursday and saturday do you number one this video leaked by the cia is the last known sighting of a very infamous figure. There's a $1 million reward for any information that can lead to his capture before he can carry out his plans, whatever they may be. The bounty was recently put on his head in May of 2019, so maybe he is planning something soon that we are not being told about. Yeah, I... The CIA video shows him brooding at a wedding ceremony. Oh. Whatever smile he can muster looks weak and forced. After all, at any given moment, any single person at this wedding could be giving away his exact location for their $1 million reward. These videos are enough to creep me out, which probably means they will scare you silly. Let's analyze what makes these videos so unnerving and get a better understanding of what it's like to experience true fear. Hey, with that last video... Uh, with that one million dollar, like number one, like that one, that's a lot of money. One million dollar reward. Twenty nineteen, this year. Oh my god. I don't know where he at, but I really hope he stays the hell away from me, cause that's a lot of money. He about to do something serious, and I just don't want to be affected by it. I really don't. I don't got time for that, man. He about to do something big. That's a lot of money, bro. That's a lot of money. Um, so I'm going to remember that face. Because, God forbid, if I ever see him while I'm, like, while I'm, like, out and about, you know, grocery shop, go, uh, grocery shopping or working out, I'm getting, I'm stopping, I'm, I'm stopping everything I'm doing. I'm dropping everything I'm doing and I'm hauling, I'm hauling it, like, Point blank period. I'm so serious. Uh, that's cause that's that man. I don't know what he about to do. But I'm going to go ahead and. Yeah take precautionary measures. I solved about. Percentage wise. Obviously I didn't solve. Uh, like 100% of the videos. But I think I, I solved like 80. 90% of the videos here. So I think I deserve like, you know, a good two, three million dollars. That's all I'm saying. So um, if the CIA or the FBI or anybody. Hey, you got your answers for me, bro. You got your answers for me. Go ahead, hit me up in the emails. Right, my email is in the description box below, right? And then uh, we can talk business, talk money. I'm going to go ahead and uh, send you all my uh, PayPal cash app information. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so funny if, like, the CIA or, like, the FBI or anybody, like, the police or whatever, right? Or anybody that were, look like, that, that saw my reaction to this and you know, heard my answers to the, to the, uh, videos. That'd be so funny if, like, it was like, they, they, you know, 
That'd be so funny. Like they they thought like it was like for real. I mean, I, I'm serious. As far as like you know, my answers. I'm so serious, y'all. I'm 100% serious. So if you ever come across my videos, the CIA department, the F FBI department, the police department, right? If you ever come across this video, just know that my answers are 100% right. Go ahead and send me my monies. I'm waiting. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.